let's talk about some different kinds of shipwrecks. Welcome to my channel. I focus on tabletop role-playing games, video games, and science fiction. Shipwrecks are an interesting place to put an adventure. A lot of things make sense for doing this type of adventure because now you've got a bunch of stuff often some treasure, some trade goods, some other things, uh, all in one place for a purpose. It was being transported. So this is a very logical place to go looking for various things. Unfortunately, in my gaming, players tend to avoid shipwrecks. They don't want to go out there. Oh, we don't, you know, it's underwater or it's partially submerged or we don't want to go there because if it's if it's on water we're not used to that type of fighting maybe our weapons don't work as well our spells don't work as well on water that's a bit of a problem now you could railroad your party just to to go do that but in the open campaigns that i tend to run players have almost always avoided shipwrecks they would hear about them, but they would never go investigate them. They'd pick something else. They would never do that because it was always, eh, we're not interested in a water adventure. That was sort of the way I've seen. Now, maybe you've had better experience with that. I like to hear about those. But I've always had players tend to shy away from that, even if I've given them water breathing necklaces and things like that. So I was thinking about this, and then I saw some pictures of, first off, the ships that were sent far inland from the tsunami that had happened in Japan a few years ago. And I go, ooh, that's interesting. Now you could have a ship far inland. Then there was some other ships that I, I did some research. There was a, a lake that there was an earthquake and it opened up an underground siphon in the lake and the lake drained, about leaving all these ships on the... Uh, uh, just they couldn't get out. They ended up being far inland as the lake bed dried up and after years you see these ships just out there on the ground. They're just sitting there on the ground. And you can do the other thing which is to, ha you know, like you've, I, maybe many of you have seen, you know, the under underwater archaeology finding, what is it, the, the docks that were belong to Cleopatra, because the water level has risen so high that it's now underwater and they're researching all that but you could just like that was put underwater you could have something that was underwater comes up to the surface because there's an earthquake which rises that piece of ground so what this does is this gives you several ideas for bringing shipwrecks either to the surface or above the surface so that now you've got this finite space, the ship, if the hull is, is still relatively complete, you've got, it's like a building, but it's not going to have windows and it's only going to be enter, come through the, through the top, you know, through the, uh, you have to get up on deck and then you're, that, because you're not going to have doors down at the, uh, uh, under the water level unless you've got, you know, uh, hatches and such that uh, are watertight and so on but that normally in a fantasy realm you wouldn't have that so you would have only the entrance would be up through the through the top deck down into the bowels of the ship so this gives you an opportunity to take a ship and put it inland and you can figure out how it was put inland there are, like I said, it could be the the water level could have changed. Now the ship is far inland. You could have had a tsunami which brought it in there. You could always do the Wizard of Oz thing where a hurricane or yeah, a tornado came along and picked it up and deposited the ship far inland. You could do the Wizard of Oz. Uh, you know, Toto, we're not, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. But you can do these type of things and create an adventure that has all the advantages and then this fa falls into the trope of called the old dark house why doesn't everybody just leave well now you're in this ship that's far inland and if say if it's very far inland you don't know if you 
how where to go you're you know the ship was picked up in the tornado and dumped far inland in a desert and now which way do you go and you've got the resources that are in the ship but if you go elsewhere there's that I, i'll leave you to look up the trope of uh, uh the old dark house and it puts the characters in a particular place it's an interesting way to start an adventure the characters were on a ship but now the ship there was a terrible storm and this and the water spout which is a, a tornado that is on on water picks up the ship and you're transported ship and all far inland and when you come to after the storm you don't know where you're at so this is a different kind of adventure from most people because now you have a ship is part of the 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 core of the adventure but it's not on the water it's on land and i'm sure you've seen some of the what was it the the pirates of the caribbean movies which got a little weird and um things if you've seen those you you know what i'm talking about the ship being moved along by the crabs but it you could even do that that opens up that option. The, I actually, many years ago, one of the lines that I'd written down was a, a ship that sails the sands. And think about that. If you have the technology, the other option you have is the technology where you can build a sailing ship that sails on the desert sands. So now it's a different kind of ship, but it's the same thing. You get on the sand, sands and you're heading that's how uh, things are transported. These are, are options you have with your adventures to give the characters the and a, a, basically a seagoing adventure without being at sea. You have a ship, you have its cargo, you have its crew, or maybe they're dead or undead or whatever, but you have the, the setting of a, a nautical type setting without the sea you know the sailor who's lost the sea so i'd like to hear your comments about this have you done any of these type of things have you put shipwrecks far inland you know, it could be an ancient shipwreck that is there and you wonder how did it get there if i remember correctly there was an episode in lost where that you see the ship up in the trees uh, that, uh, so you can do weird things like that and I'd like to hear what you've done with it uh, what do you think of this idea thank you for watching my video I look forward to learning what you think about this video let me know in the comments below if you like the video press the thumbs up button you can subscribe by clicking the link in the lower left if you are interested, there are links to more content.